hello hello guys welcome again to my channel so guys today i'm going to show you as a beginner i'm going to show you how to make ethiopian lines yeah trust the process because it's very very helpful and uh, you will get to know how to make them yeah the more you do practice the more you get to know how to make them the way i'm doing it yeah this is my design i like making it that way yeah we have a lot of uh a lot of different types of them uh ethiopian lines yeah tigre lines or albaso and all that yeah this one is mine <laughs> i know i call it mine yeah yeah so and i'm used to it and i really like it guys it's a nice tie it can last for long okay guys let me not talk too much so we are going to make only four of them on my client's hair and i'm putting them already into four like the way you see this side is two the other side is two and now we start with one which i'm working on it now that is one the first line so i'll part first the side one a little bit small remember the first line has four lines it's four in one yeah so i have to part first the small strand on the side to start with and this small strand is a dropout is it a dropout yeah dropouts yeah so i'll be drop doing the dropouts first and this is how we start so make the small strands of the braids ready parted for the hair to be okay and then start the way you normally start as you make the cornrows yeah the normal cornrows the way you normally start so we start like that yeah you have to play it as, as you add braid so just do it slowly by slowly as you add braid like that and then you play it onwards yeah so the more you do like this the, it's coming out like cornrow you see so you have to continue plating it like that and then until it's firm and then you can start dropping don't go far so that you can start dropping yeah now there you can start dropping and then yeah you see so let's start adding as we drop yeah, so for this first line, I'll just be adding and then I drop immediately without turning it around. So you add like that, you don't turn the other part, you just leave it. Because once you've added like that, you drop it. Yeah. You add, you drop, you plate like that. Add, you drop it. And then you play it onwards so when i'm adding i'm only turning the other side this strand the one i'm making straight i'm only leaving it like that because i don't have to, i don't have to turn it for this side yeah i just have to leave it hanging aside so that it can be joined to the finishing point okay so that's how we, we do the dropping you add like that you turn this one the other one you drop turn only one side i don't know if you're getting what i'm trying to explain yeah so you will be going like that doing the dropouts yeah until the cornrow is to the end yeah you have to take your time and then you do the dropout until the end so every every place you turn your finger or your fingers you have to drop so that it can come out uniform so we continue like that add you drop it then plate add drop it plate like that add drop it plate you add you drop it you plate like that so it's a simple process yeah only it needs yeah you have to practice to be able to get it yeah 
Yeah, because without practice, nothing is there. Okay? Yeah, practice makes perfect. So like that, you see? That's where my cornrow is going to end. There at the back. And you can see there's no gap in between the droppings. Yeah, so like that. All my cornrows are coming to the, to the down center. How can I put it? <laughs> at, the, <laughs> at the center back of my client's head. Yeah. And then I'll make a bun when I'm done. I'm done making it, yeah? I will style it into a bun. You can leave them also hanging. Yeah. So here we are. So you can add the hair to the ends to make the ends to be a bit longer. Better for styling. Yeah. Yeah, and that's how the work is. Make the ends to be more tight huh? because um, if you make them loose, then the styling will not be okay. So guys, you can see this one here. How does it look? The dropping was so neatly done that way so guys we come to another process the second line we are going to make in so meaning the both sides huh, we have to make the dropouts this side and the other one i'm putting on the other side yeah we have to make the dropouts the middle one is just under underhand control or you can do overhand control the way you like it you can do um, feeding brain braid or you can just make it without braid if the client has thick hair or client wants them to be a bit flat yeah but for the better shaping of it of the style you, you can add some braid in so that you can be able to get the style very well okay yeah so this one is just as simple as it is you part twice like that and then you start making the cornrow so you have your braid make it three like that and then you start making a normal underhand cornrow You can start like that and then go until the end or you can still add a braid uh, some strands of braid yeah to make it a bit high i mean a bit lifted yeah sometimes explaining is a bit hard but i'm i normally try my best guys so like that Ooh. so guys let's watch this one as we continue
so my people we have done with that with the middle one now we have to make the other side also so make your strands of braid small small put them aside like this and then you start you will start the normal way you started the other hair but this one we have to to add the braid and then after adding we have to plate it fast one two and then we drop it's not the same way we did the dropouts for the first cornrow. Yeah, to make them to be on the same on the same lying down or on the same flowing, you have to make them in this manner. So after doing like that, you have to plate until where you, you feel it's enough, or you can measure where you, you have to cover the inner cornrow not to be seen outside yeah so you have to check when you drop from here it has to be the same to the, the other one yeah so like that we play it you play it make it straight and then now you drop you add you play it one two straight and then you drop add another strand like that play to one two straight and drop add another one play it one two straight and then drop guys remember the strand you're adding this one you have to fix it in the in the hair as in your like you're making all of it as a condo or, or, or as a braid eh? so that you can be able to drop it later yeah you can be able to drop it later when you want to drop it so add like that make it go the other side and the other side and then straight and then you drop the same same you added yeah you add place it like that and then you drop it remember while you're dropping there is another strand because they when you put they come like two this way left and right so when you play one is remaining inside and the one that is remaining inside it can be when you're pulling the outer ones the one you have already dropped they can't be pulled they will remain firm so that's why i'm telling you to put play it twice and then drop the same same the same same one you dropped it will be a side on the hair it will not mix with the other hair it will just be a side you see this one here it will just be aside when you turn the cornrow it will just be aside there and then you are able to drop it without struggle yeah just there it's aside so that's how this work goes add plate straight and then you drop it yeah add one two straight and then you drop it as you can see there's a difference between this one and the first line yeah there's a difference if you do the same process the way you did the first dropouts if you do the same the same with this one i'm doing right now then it will turn it will not, not it will not look the same when you are doing the finishing part yeah, when you're joining the two dropouts together the the one line will look like uh, it's um overhand and one line will look like it's underhand control so yeah but when i'm doing this process for this second line the one i'm doing now it takes a bit time more of time because you have to make it plate fast before you drop the first line takes little little time so yeah but i prefer if you do the both designer as i did so guys you see very neat and now we are coming to the part where we are going to join them together you pick two strands from up here and then you pick one up here and then you pick one from down here yeah so like that and then you have to make them three like that and then you just make the way you normally start a braid like that and then uh, you'll be going picking from left plate 
go to the right pick and plait go to the left pick braid like that to the right the same to the left the same you pick you braid it go to the left pick braid it yeah remember you have to pick the one one strand from each side only when you are next to the ear sometimes at the side of the ear is a bit down and then you can join the, the strands to be two but if your clan's hair head is a well shaped well shaped well shaped yeah but most of the clan's hair here next to the ear when you're doing this style like this yeah mostly you have to pick the two strands from there because there are a lot yeah so let's see this one left right plate left plate right plate left plate right plate yeah it's getting into place i'm telling you let's see if you're going to get two Ooh, wow so it's left and right left and right like that yeah so guys as you can see there's no there's no place i did the two strands from here next to the ear yeah but most of the clans when i make them i have to be picking two strands next to the ears yeah before before the ear here in front when you, where you normally have the side bands i call them side bands yeah ladies they have a little bit some they have yeah and some they don't have yeah so when you have the hair coming down like a sideband and then it's too much you have to plate it then that means you have to have a lot of dropouts there so which means it makes it makes you to have to pick two two from there okay so we are continuing the left and right left and right like that as we go to the end guys this hairstyle it's nice it's really nice yeah it's nice but it takes time guys it takes time so and it can also last it does it lasts for let me say like a month and a half or two yeah and if you are staying maybe like um far away from your hairdresser i can even go to three months <laughs> yeah i'm just kidding but i know yeah some some can do that eh? yeah if it's well made well plated then it's yeah it can also last for long but uh i would prefer if you can stay with it one one and a half months or two, two months eh? that one would be better yeah so guys that's how my cornrow is looking like yeah my open line it's looking like that and so guys the bun is just a simple bun you can make it a bun you can leave them hanging and so the last style see that's how it's looking like yeah very neat and well shaped so you can see the dropouts they are the same see they are the same there's no part is different from the other one and so guys that's how they are looking and everything is done like that thank you so much guys i'm hoping you're going to learn something and you're going to try to do something huh? do something yeah don't give up when you want to achieve it then you have to go for it never give up try and try and thank you so much for your support thank you for visiting joy's arts yeah may god bless you bye